What's up, guys? It's Ryan Inc. Welcome to the first show of Real Estate Secrets series. Um, kind of the idea for this is uh, I was uh, I was reading a Reddit article and it said, what is a secret in your industry that nobody knows about? And it was like the whole article was gold. So I thought, man, it would be awesome to do something like that with real estate because there's a ton of secrets uh, to real estate that will save you money, that will make you money, that will save you time. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to go over uh, those secrets one by one. So the first thing and probably the best place to start in secret number one is a secret to picking the right strategy. You know, the first secret is really, you know, to, um, to actually give some thought into picking a strategy. Because when I first got started, I was um, just out of college, new wife. Um, this is before Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans. And that's when my wife was pregnant, about eight months for our first child. And I was a teacher at the time. And I just, I knew that I wanted to have a lot of kids. Uh, I got five kids now. And I, and I wasn't sure that, um, I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to do that while teaching. So I ended up thinking, you know what, I've always re liked real estate, uh, probably, you know, similar to probably how some of you feel like, hey, you know, I'm interested in real estate. If you're part of this uh, group on Facebook, uh, or if you're watching this video, you're like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm into real estate, but I, I'm, I'm not really sure where to start. So that was me over 15 years ago. And I just took the lowest hanging fruit. And the lowest hanging fruit was, well, I know you can make a lot of money in real estate. I'm not as sure exactly how, but I'm just going to uh, become a realtor. So I spent a couple months taking real estate classes, uh, which, by the way, if you, if you are a realtor, if you're thinking about becoming a realtor, know that whatever you learn to take the real estate exam, like you almost literally use none of that in real life. No, no practical um, application of that knowledge. Um, so that's number one. What's up, Marlon? How you doing? Um, number two is you're going to spend a lot of money going through that you know, the real estate program, then you got to get your licensing and then you got to get your certification and all these, these, these fees. And so what ended up happening is I take the real estate exam, I become a real estate agent, but I'm part-time cause I'm still teaching. And it was good in that I learned how to do a CMA. I learned how to uh, market a little bit, but I didn't put a whole lot of thought into whether that was exactly what I wanted to do. So Hurricane Katrina hits and what I didn't think about before I went into it, I was just like, well, I'm just going to learn about real estate and that might open up opportunities. But the actual job as a realtor is actually marketing. Like you've got to go to your friends and family, almost like if you're doing like a, you know, MLM pyramid scheme type thing. Uh, you're, you're going to your friends and families, letting them know that you're a real estate agent. You're sitting on desk. Uh, people call on the real estate size and you try to get to become their agent. So you're going out, you're showing a lot of property um, and those people could buy, they could not buy. So you're spending a lot of time with the hopes of maybe getting a commission, which is fine. I mean, that's part of any job that's 100% commission. Um, but, but I didn't think about that. I didn't think like, Hey, if I'm doing this, then I'm, I'm basically in sales. That's what I'm doing. Uh, if I want to become a real estate agent and, um, uh, kind of where, where I really realized, Hey, maybe this isn't what I, I really should have done is hurricane Katrina hits. And we're all in this small apartment in Baton Rouge and my wife's, uh, family, she is one of 11 children and her mom is one of 11 children. So all these people, like 20 something people, aunts, uncles, they're all together in this apartment and nobody has a place to live because Hurricane Katrina just went through and the, and the city didn't even open back up. And I was like, this is perfect. This is my opportunity. I, uh, I'm going to go and I'm going to print out all of the houses that are on the market and I'm going to come to this meeting with all the, the family members. I'm going to show them, you know, all the stuff on the market. So, they're meeting, all the aunts, all the uncles, everybody in the family is meeting. They're talking about where they live, where is their house is for sale. And I came and I dropped a packet in the middle. I said, hey, guys, I'm a real estate agent now. Um, 
if you want my help, look, here's everything that's currently on the market. And they kind of looked at me and then they went back to their conversation, which is fine, you know, but that's, that's where I, I felt, you know, deflated. I was like, man, you know, just because I, I thought by me having this certification that that would mean that I would have automatic business. That's not necessarily the way it works. And so I think about that. And the reason I bring that story up and how I got started is because if I had to go back, I would not have gotten my real estate license because instead of spending my time uh, learning how, uh, to, to take the real estate exam, which has nothing to do with the actual field of real estate, I could have been learning how to wholesale uh, because I didn't have any, no, I didn't really have a whole lot of money. I could have learned creative finance or no money down deals. Um, those are things that you want to be focusing on if you don't have money, which is where I was at that time. Uh, so I really encourage uh, people to think about, hey, what, what do you want to do? And if you're going to invest your time somewhere and if you're going to invest your money somewhere, let's, let's figure out what the strategy is first, right? So the first question you should ask yourself when pursuing the strategy is, do I want passive income or do I want active income? Passive income is money that you make while you sleep. Active income is basically another job. So if you want to get involved in wholesaling or flipping, or if you want to become an agent, that's active, right? You're going to be doing some work and that's fine because a lot of people hate their job and they, they're just like, just, I'll do something else. When I really got serious into the investing side of real estate and not being an agent, I just hated my job. And I was like, look, I'll get, I'll be as active as I need to be so I can get out of selling copiers, which is what I, you know, I ended up doing. So you want to ask, do I want active or passive income? You might be in a situation where you love your job and you make really good money, but you're tired of the stock market and you really want some more passive income in real estate with great real estate opportunities. Well, in that case, you should probably be a limited partner in like an apartment syndication, which is something that we do as well. Um, so all this to say, you really want to ask that question, is it passive or active? The other thing is, how much time do you have? All right, if you've got a lot of time, if you got four hours or more per week, then you can dedicate your time to more strategies. If you got less than one hour, then you, know, you probably don't wanna go with other strategies, right? Um, and then there's all kinds of real estate as well. So there's, there's uh, passive real estate is like buying a single family home or, or a small multifamily and getting a property manager to rent it out. Uh, there is uh, syndicated apartments, there's large multi-million dollar apartment deals. And there's the general partner side of it, which is active and the limited partner side of that, which is, uh, which is passive. So, you really want to figure out whether or not you want to be active or passive. The other is quick nickel, uh, quick nickel or slow dime. So wholesaling, flipping, uh, lease options, those things give you big chunks of change up front. So if you want more than $10,000, you're going to probably be in a little more of an active strategy, and, um, and, but you'll have bigger swings of cash. Uh, if you want slow dime, that's the passive income that re reoccurs every month, the money that you make while you sleep, you're going to be looking for slow dime strategies like long-term rentals. So whether you're going to flip something, whether you're going to buy and hold something, um, those are the questions that you really should ask for your situation. So the questions are, do I want passive or active? Uh, do I want quick nickel or slow dime? And how much time do you have? Answer those questions and that will help you spend some time actually thinking about that and you'll save a lot of time, money, possibly heartache in choosing the wrong strategy to get started. Uh, if you would like to take things to the next level, we do have two programs that would help you. Uh, number one, we just started this five day challenge, been getting tremendous results with it. And so to, to take that challenge, it's basically like get you started with your first deal, select your strategy, and get working on your first deal within five days. It's the uh, cashflowdadlife.com slash five, the number five day uh, real estate challenge. So it's cashflowdadlife.com slash five day real estate challenge. And the other one is we've got a real estate investment club, the Thousand Door Tribe. 
So you go to a thousand door one zero 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 door tribe.com and you can check it out there. Hope you guys found that helpful and look for next week's or uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it every week. Leave me a comment below if you want me to do it every week. I could probably do it every day. I don't know. This doesn't take much time, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll drop some secrets just about every day. Make sure to uh, subscribe and share if you found it val uh, valuable. Thanks a lot. Take care. All right. Thank you for joining me for this session of Real Estate Investor Secrets. If you found this valuable, please help me out and give me a like. Share it with anybody else who might find it valuable. And to make sure that you get the next secret right when it comes out, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow us on the Facebook group. Uh, for anybody who wants to get started on your next cash flowing real estate deal, at, whether it's short term rentals, Airbnb, single family, small multifamily or large multifamily, I can help you and we've had a ton of success in our five day real estate challenge program. Links and information to that is below. So if you want to get started on your next cash flowing uh, deal, then check out that link below. Thanks a lot and take care.